is Beth Goldstein. BethGoldstein.net. Hi, Beth. And I've got a whole bunch of uh, people that are at least six feet apart here joining me this morning from Longbow Key. Um, if you're enjoying this series and you'd like to uh, donate to my cause, which is getting an upgraded phone so that I can do longer videos, it's Beth-Goldstein-16 at Venmo. So thanks for that for those of you who are willing to do it, but know that this is free and my gift back to all of you because the thing we need most right now is to come back into our breath, be in the present moment, release fear, anxiety, and open up to some lightness, and just keep breathing. So today we're going to do uh, some standing poses, going into a flow, and then chill out at the end. So do what you can, don't hurt yourself. Look, I need to stay here so it doesn't do whatever. Okay, hopefully you can see me because I can't see you. All right, bring your arms out and reach up for the sky to start with. Do a little back bend. Oh, I just notice how you feel. Get your feet nice and grounded. Have them fit, hip, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> hip width apart. Hold for another breath. Bring your hands to your heart. And let's just take a couple breaths here with your hands in prayer. Take your thumbs, press into your chest. Big breaths into your chest, your shoulder blades. Long breath out, right down through your feet. Oh. So embracing whatever you need this morning with your inhale. And letting go back to the earth, whatever you need to let go of with the exhale. Right, and then clasp your hands up and do a little back bend again. And then we're going to bring your arms forward and bend your knees as you pull your shoulders apart. And then lift your arms up as you straighten and do a little back bend. Just a little gentle flow to start. So push your shoulders apart, bend your knees, and then back up, do a little back bend. And then one more time. Now hold it there, keep your knees bent, pull your shoulders apart, and then bring them out into chair pose. And look up, tuck your tailbone. And this is the point where we do a little gratitude. So think of at least two things you're grateful for as your arms are nice and wide open there. And take a breath in your heart, bring it in. All right, all the way up. Oh, slowly bring your arms down and bend your knees. And we're going to do the same thing, only you're just coming up and reach up. And then the next time you're going to come down a little deeper. See if you can touch the ground with your fingertips. And then lift up. Starting off slow this morning. Just waking everything up. Then touch the ground. Lift up. Back to chair pose. And this time bring your hands back behind you. Clasp your hands. Lift your heart up. And tuck your tailbone. And see if you can, as you straighten your legs, drop down. Oh, oh, the hat's going to come off now. <laughs> Take another breath here. Push your shoulder blades together. And then bend your knees. Keep your hands clasped behind you. Tuck your tailbone. Straighten out your legs. Keep your hands clasped behind you. Pull your arms down. Push your shoulder blades together. And drop your right ear to your right shoulder. I'm doing a mirroring. And open up your mouth to relax your jaw and make a sound if you want, but sit, stand up tall. So I have a bunch of people here and this is what they're doing. Because <laughs> you want to stand up tall and only move your head, right? Can you feel the difference? Uh-huh. And then look over your right shoulder, take another breath. Keep pulling your arms down and your shoulder blades together, tuck your tailbone, come back to center, drop your left ear to your left shoulder, push your shoulder blades together, open up your mouth to relax your jaw, and breathe into that neck and shoulder. <sighs> then look behind you. Take another breath. Come back to center. Widen your feet as wide as your mat. Keep your hands clasped behind you, and bring your heart up. Clasp your hands. Tighten your butt muscles, and then again, come all the way down. 
if you can. So if this is hard for you, then just grab your uh, forearm, right? Pull your arms up as high as they'll go. Look at the world upside down through your legs. Ah. And you're gonna bend your left knee and drop your chest right onto your thigh. That's option one. And option two is take your left shoulder down and your right shoulder up toward the sky. Pushing into your thigh with your shoulder. Good, take another breath. And then straighten your legs, drop down. Then oh. just your right, drop your head down and your shoulder on your thigh. That's option one. Option two is turn so that your right shoulder is pushing into your thigh. Left shoulder up. Take another breath. Oh. Now straighten your legs and drop your hands down. And bend your elbows and just rock a little side to side. Opening up those side of your thigh, the gracilis muscles, and then if you can, reach behind you with your fingertips so, and bend those elbows so your palms are facing down, and then bend your knees as you inhale and straighten as you exhale. Bend and look forward this time, and then straighten. Now hold it for another breath, and bring your arms forward. Bring both hands over to the outside of your left foot, bending your knee, bending your knee, keeping your knee straight, bending your elbows, forehead towards your knee. Move away the ants and come the other way. <laughs> so notice as you do this how one side feels compared to the other. It could be kind of dramatic. Come back to center, bend both knees. Take your left hand down. So if you have a book or a block, that's great. I'm gonna make a pile of sand. Those of you who are here, you can make a little pile of sand if you want. So my knees are bent, and my left hand's right on the pile. Come a little further back, right? My left hand's on the pile, and my right hand's gonna go right on the sacrum. And then option two is straighten your legs, and option three is right arm up. So it looks like this, either with your knees bent or straight. Take two more breaths. Getting a little back twist here. All right, bend your knees. Drop your right hand onto the pile or the ground or a book or a block. Take your left hand onto your sacrum. Look over your left shoulder. Option two, straighten out your legs. And option three, lift up that left arm straight up to the sky with your palm facing away from you. Palm facing away from you. Straight up to the sky. And if you can't get to the sky, then keep it on your sacrum, right? Because remember, we're thinking about balance and alignment. All right, bend both knees. Bring your hands onto your thighs and just push your shoulder blades together. Rocking a little side to side. And you're gonna bring your fingers facing forward on your thighs and push your shoulder blades together. Uh, take another breath. Moving away the ants here. <laughs> Straighten out your legs and reach up. How'd that feel, waking up? Do a little back bend with your legs nice and wide and then drop your left hand down and glide down as you look up. Then drop your right hand right between your shoulder blades. Okay, that's option one. Option two, reach behind and see if you can clasp your hands together. So you gotta use your legs, they have to be super strong. Get rid of the ants. Open up your heart. Nice and wide legs. They should be at least as wide as your mat, maybe a little wider. All right, come all the way up. Reach for the sky. How are my real students doing here? Good? A resounding yes. <laughs> All right, drop your right arm down and lean over. Uh, look up, tighten up your quads so you have full support in both legs and, and feet. And then drop your left hand down. That might be enough for you. All right, that's option one. Option two is see if you can clasp your hands. Lean over, take two more breaths. One more. All right, come all the way up. Woo. 
bring your feet back together, put your hat back on. <laughs> My little jokes here. You might have a hat on at home, I have no idea. <laughs> All right. uh, reach up, so your pot, just like a rag doll, and then as you exhale, you're just going to bend and bring your arms back behind you. And then scoop up the air as you inhale, just waking everything up. Push the air down as you exhale, bend your knees. And then inhale, push up. Take another breath. Now see if you can get your feet equally balanced to the earth and bring your arms out to the side into mountain pose. Tuck your chin, tuck your butt muscles. Take another breath. And bring your hands to your heart and just take a breath. So we're gonna do a standing flow, but before we do, let's do a little balance posture, which is not so easy on the sand. I'm just gonna give you that right now. The head's up. All right, ground your left foot and bring your, yeah, bring your right foot up on your toes. Now that might be enough of a balance for you. That could be it. But if you can, just drop your ankle onto your calf and bring your hands to your heart, that's option one. Option two is start to lift up and push your foot against your thigh. Now the key here is you've got your hands pushing in and your foot, you've got ants everywhere, <laughs> your foot's against your thigh, so you're in your tree. And if you've got something you can look at, I'm looking at a piece of sand. Well, actually, I'm looking at my phone. <laughs> so something stationary in front of you to hold your gaze. And that's option one. Option two is lift all the way up. Reach for the sky. So it's spring. You can imagine your fingertips are sprouting little buds. Right? Take another breath. The beauty of balance poses, at the, especially right now at the time that we're in, is you can't think about anything else. It's total focus. All right, hands together, back to your heart. Take a breath, and then bring your arms forward and your knee up. Take two more breaths. Slowly bring your hands down. All right, take a breath. So let's try it on the other side, and then we'll do our flow. So ground your right, up on your left toes. Those of you who are here, you can be on the sand. If you're on the sand, you can sort of make your foot deep into the sand so you've got some ground underneath you. I'm still on my mat. So ground, get your right side super heavy and your left light. And then just drop your heel onto your calf. That, that may be enough, that's it. Here's your balance right here. Now the key here is you push your hands together in this prayer pose and it mirrors what you're gonna do for your foot into your thigh. All right, we're pushing, pushing, one against the other. Keep the focus right in front of you, and then arms out if you want, wide open fingertips. And for us, I'll send you a little energy of what we're feeling right now, the breeze coming right through our fingers, reminding us to breathe. So I'm sending that to you. And then reach up, back to your heart. Arms forward, bring that knee forward, hold for a couple more breaths, get that balance and then arms up and slowly down. Nice, I don't usually do that on the beach, but these guys rocked it. All right, we're gonna come up to the tops of your mats. If, you, if I, I can't see the, can't see you, so hopefully you can see me. And if you can't see me well, let's listen to my voice. All right, lift all your toes up. We're gonna keep that balance going, drop each toe down and come up on your toes and lift up. So all 10 of them, if you have 10 toes, push them all in. Stay on your toes as you bend your knees, swing your arms forward. All right, look at something stationary, the key to the balance. Swing your arms back behind you, get your belly on your thighs, stay on your toes, then drop your heels down and lift all the way up, do a little back bend and then back to your heart. So the purpose of that is to really feel the grounding of all four corners of your feet, right? So look down at your feet. Make sure they're facing forward. Nice and grounded and hip width apart. So look at those feet. They're not splayed out. They're facing right forward in direction. 
And each time we come back to this position, you're super grounded, you're balanced left to right. Catch my drift? Are we sounding yes? Yes! <laughs> yes. <laughs> Good, wow, here. I forgot they were here for a minute. All right, here we go, arms out. Reach for the sky, do a little back bend, just a half salute to start. Arms out, halfway down. Bring your hands onto your calves and then drop as far down as you can. You might dangle and then just your right knee. Hold it for a breath. Get that hip. Then just bend your left knee. Just checking in. If you can't reach all the way down. You can keep holding your calves. Then bend both knees. Swing your arms back. Back to chair pose. Take another breath and lift all the way up. Do a little back bend. Hands to your heart. Take a breath. All right, we're going to start out. Take your right leg back and your left foot forward. Nice wide stance. Okay, you're so wide that you look like a Leonardo da Vinci drawing right here, right? Nice and wide. Your left foot is facing forward. 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 No, this way. Turn it. Yeah, it was turning it. Sorry, I got distracted. All right. Bend into warrior two. And then straight. As you inhale, bend and go a little deeper. Now, can you have both feet equally grounded? Okay. Straighten. Bend into a full warrior two. Nice and grounded, both feet. I love to use the metaphor of reach, of letting go of the past with my right hand. And my left hand is reaching for a, a more calming future than this present, right? So, that back leg should be completely straight. Back leg straight. Bend a little deeper, and then we're gonna reverse it. Take your right hand down, and your left hand arm, and we'll do a little different. You're gonna take that left hand right between your shoulder blades, and if you can take your right hand and clasp it, just like we did earlier, then do it. Or get them close together and take three more breaths. Bending, lifting your heart up, taking another breath, and come back to warrior two. And then we're gonna go to side angle with an option. So drop your, whatever this is, forearm onto your thigh and your left arm up. Okay, that's option one. And option two is take your hand all the way down onto the outside of your foot. So that's a big, deep bend if you can do that. And we're gonna take three breaths. And if you got your arm up, reach for the sky. Take another breath. Now start to straighten your legs. So we're going into a triangle. And you can take the outside of your hand onto the inside of your calf, or drop down a little deeper. You're going to your left leg, the one that's forward. There we go. Now reach for the sky and reach for the earth at the same time. That's option one. You don't have, it's not about how low you go, it's about how elongated you are, like how open up your heart. Okay, here's option two, you're staying in your triangle. To get a little side core, rein your left arm up, and then your right arm so as if you're holding a block and take three breaths. If this is hard, you can bend your knee. Two more breaths. One more breath. And bend. Back to warrior two. Take another breath. Your left knee's bent, your right leg straight. Left knee bent, right leg. Reach for both. Take another breath. Go back to your, your reverse. This time with your palm up and lean over. If you want, you can take your right hand and place it on your left thigh. It gets a little twist in your shoulder and then come back to warrior two, take another breath. Both feet forward, clasp your hands together, and push your shoulder blades toward one another, lift your chin up, drop your right ear to your right shoulder, take a breath, and the other side. And back to where we started, all the way up and down. Three breaths, push your shoulder blades together. One more breath. 
Drop your hands down, reach behind you, and bend your elbow. You're gonna feel that in your hamstring. If that's too much, bend your knees. Listen to your body. Good, one more. And hands in front of you. Back on the sand pile, or your block, or whatever you've got there, your book. Take your left hand onto your sacrum. Now bend your knees if you need to. Bending is option one. Straight is option two. Option three is left arm up. Make sure your legs are either bent or straight. Left arm, your palm is facing forward. Your palm is facing forward and your arm is way up to the sky. Take another breath. Then swing your left hand down. I've got a pile of ants here. <laughs> Take your right hand onto your sacrum. Keep your knees bent, that's option one. Look over your right shoulder. Option two, straighten your legs. Option two, three, 15. <laughs> Reach for the sky, looking at your thumb. Two more breaths. One more. All right, both hands down. Bend both knees, bring your hands onto your thighs. Move the sand away. Push your shoulders together, fingers facing forward and drop your left shoulder down as you look over your right. And switch it. And come all the way up. Do a little reach for the sky, a little back bend. Back to your heart, take a breath. All right, you ready for the other side? They're all saying yes, yeah, they're nodding. Yeah, yeah, we are. All right, right foot forward. Left foot back. Make sure your heels are in the same line of energy, right? And bring your arms out to the side. So my right foot's facing forward. Look down at your foot. Make sure it's facing forward. The front foot facing forward, right in front of you. Turn your foot so it's facing forward. Your right, your right, forward. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting distracted here and then bend into warrior two. Feel that stretch in your shoulders and your, and your heart? Your palms are facing down. This time, lift your palms up as you inhale. And as you exhale, drop down a little more, palms down. Inhale, palms up. Exhale, palms down. Go a little deeper, your back leg is straight. There you go, your front leg's bent. You guys look great warriors. You've got some serious warriors here. Good, take another breath. Then we're gonna drop your left hand onto your thigh, right arm up. Here's option one, just stay here. Option two, drop your right hand, uh, left, yeah, your right hand right between your shoulder blades and clasp if you can. Now keep that back leg straight, bend that front knee, bring your heart up to the ceiling, sky, whatever. <laughs> Take another breath. One more, good, back to warrior two. Drop your palm down, your forearm down. And bring it. So you're pushing into your thigh and your left arm's up. That's option one. Your palm's facing forward, pushing your right arm down. Option two, drop your hand. So you've got to bend your knee. Look how much I'm bending my knee. And place your whole hand on the outside of your, of your foot. So that's an option, remember? Remember the option thing? Only do it if you can get your whole hand there or your block. Take another breath and then straighten your leg. We're going into triangle. Take the outside of your hand on the inside of your calf and reach for the sky as you drop down. So your arms should be like an airplane wing, right? So one's not like this. <laughs> Reaching for the sky. Reaching for the earth. Take another breath. Stay in your triangle, option one. Option two, lift your right arm up so it's parallel to your leg. And then your right arm over. Three breaths. Oh, go one more. And then to your triangle. Back to warrior two. Do a little reverse. This time just a traditional reverse. They call it, look at your palm. Bend your front knee, keep your back leg straight. And then option two, take that left hand right onto your thigh. And breathe. Good, one more breath. All right, feet back forward. Huh. Everybody good? Yeah. Reach up. <laughs> Reach up. I'm paying these guys. All right. 
Blah, 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 blah. Stretch out your palms and do a little back bend and then lean over to your left. Now while you're over to your left, just turn your heart up. So you've got really strong legs. Good, take another breath. Come back to center, lean over and turn. So you're looking up at the sky or the ceiling. And take another breath and come back to center. Bring your hands to your heart, take a breath. Whew. All right, gonna do a little. So go back to where we started, left foot forward, right foot back. <laughs> This time class, we'll just do another standing flow and then hopefully you can see me. Clasp your hands together. I mean, clasp, your, bring your hands on your upper arms, right? So you're pushing your shoulder blades together. Now you wanna be, your hips wanna be facing forward. So move that back foot wherever it needs to go so that your hips are facing forward and turn your toes so that they're facing the right corner of your mat. That's a great. All right, bring your heart up. Keep your front leg straight and then bend forward. We're gonna reach forward and bend your knee. Lift up into warrior one. Bring your arms back and bring your heart up. And then straighten, and lean forward. Exhale, in there. So we're just doing a little warrior flow here. Exhale forward, keep that leg straight and stay here. But if you're able to, grab your calf. And if you're able to go further down, bring your fingertips on the side of your foot. Either way, forehead towards your knee, let's take three breaths. One more breath and bend your knee. Keep your hands on either side. And remember what we did when we were like this and had your hands underneath, you're gonna do the same thing. Bring your hands behind you on your fingertips, and then if you want to add to your hamstring, straighten out that leg. Three more breaths. So option one is bent, option two is straight. One more breath. Good, come back to center. Lift arms out in warrior one. This type out, and then lift up, and come back and take three breaths. Good, one more. You're gonna get the inside of your hip. Now grab your upper arms, bring your heart up, and lean over to your left. So you're gonna feel it on the inside of your right hip, and then twist a little so you bring your heart up. And bend, three more breaths. Good, one more breath. And reach for the sky, and to your heart. Take a breath, and then we're gonna switch. So. Right leg forward, left foot is facing, your toes are facing the left corner of your mat, right? Start by holding your upper arms and keep your front leg straight. So both legs are straight and your hips are facing forward and you're gonna lean forward. Uh and then come all the way up. Breathe in and bring your arms up into warrior one. And then straighten, lean forward with your arms forward as you exhale. And inhale, lift. Oh, just waking everything up. And exhale, bend. Now reach forward, bend your front knee. Lean forward and drop your hands so they're on either side of that foot. Option two here is to Straighten that front leg. So let's take three breaths. Oh. Then bend your knee, bring your hands back behind you so your fingertips are facing away from you. And if you can straighten your leg, straighten your leg, otherwise keep it bent. Take three more breaths. One more. Bend your knee, bring your arms nice and wide. Reach for the sky, strong warrior. We're getting to feel the sun right here. This is where your sun lives, right? Third chakra. So imagine the sun touching you. You're bending your front knee, your right. Your left leg is straight and you're facing, we're facing the ocean. I'm facing the ocean. All right, your front leg's facing forward. Your toes are facing forward. Good, take another breath. And grab your upper arms. Bring your heart up. Bend your front knee, bring your heart up and then 
What were we doing? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Drop down. Woo. Lean to your right. Bring your heart up. Feel that on the inside of your hip. Good. Take another breath. Straighten out that leg. Bring both feet facing forward. Whew. Bring your feet together. Shake it all out. Dance, dance. <laughs> all right. Oops. We're doing yoga. We're not dancing. We can always dance in yoga. All right. Come back to center. Your feet are hip width apart. Bring your arms out. Reach for that sky. Or left hand down and just lean over. And look up. Take a breath. See if you can get both feet equally grounded into the earth. And then both arms up. And then lean over. And take a breath here. Fill up the whole left side of your rib cage when you breathe. Both arms up. Do a little back bend. Hands to your heart. Take a breath. Okay, we're going to do a couple sun salutes here. So again, do what you can do. Come up to the tops of your mats. Do a little empty coat sleeve to start. Do a little side to side. A little shoulder roll. Is everybody good? I'm facing the sun, so it's a, it's it's us. This is what we call right here a sun salute for real. So hopefully you can even at least look out your window and see the sun. But the idea is to bring the energy of what the sun brings us, to rem us, for us to remember that we are all the elements of nature, that we are the sun, and that the sun brings us light and warmth and energy and vitality, and it's right here. So let's salute that energy and bring it inside, shall we? <laughs> and so, halfway down, and before we get all the way down, just for your hips, bend your right knee and hold it for a breath. Breathing into the left hip, and then switch. Left knee bends, right hip stretches. And then straighten both legs, come all the way down, fingertips on the ground. Bend both knees so your belly's on your thighs. Just like that, and spring your right foot back as far as it'll go. Into a high lunge. You're gonna go in slow motion. So look down and make sure your hands on either side of your front foot. And that your knees between your hands. I mean between your, yeah, between your hands. So your knee is between your hands. Good, take another breath. Feel that stretch on the inside of your hip. And then drop your knee down. And here's the gratitude piece. Open up your arms and bend your front knee and bring your heart up. And take three breaths. Good, one more. Drop your head down. Lift up your knee. We're back in high lunge. And then you're going to move into plank. Take three breaths. Your hands are underneath your shoulders. Take three breaths. If this is hard for you, you want your body like a plank board, right? If this is hard for you, just bring your knees down. Take another breath. And then we're going to lift right into downward dog. Uh, push your shoulders together. Soften your heart. Bend just your right knee and hold it for a breath. And then your left, so you feel your hips. And then both knees, look at your thumbs, take another breath. And as you exhale, you're gonna bring that right foot right between your hands and you're up on your fingertips and bend your front knee. So we're back at a high lunge. Now move that foot forward so it's right between your hands. Push your back heel away, bring your heart up. Take another breath. Exhale, knee down, arms out, reach for the sky. And gratitude. I'm sending you the sensation of the sun right in my heart, down to my third chakra, and right through my fingertips and the winds going through my fingers. I'm sending that energy to all of you. And hand on your side. Now lift back up, you're in high lunge. As you exhale, bring your left to meet your right. Bend your knees, swing your arms back behind you, and push the air up. Do a little back bend. And then to your heart, take a breath. Move the sand off your hands. <laughs> Get nice and grounded, left to right. 
And those of you, if you can't see me or hear me, you can always move over there. All right, arms up. Halfway down. Nice flat back. Your, your crown is facing forward and just bend the right knee and hold it for a breath to get that hip. And then switch. And straighten, come all the way down. Hold your calves, inhale. Exhale down. Bend both knees. Bring the left foot back, which is doing the other side. And heart forward. So option two here is pull your hips back, straighten your front leg, toes up, forehead towards your knee, hold it for a breath. And then we're going to do it as a flow. So breathe in, heart forward. Breathe out, straighten. You can keep your foot down or up. And if this is hard for you, you can keep your knee down and do it. All right, so many options. And next time you come straight, hold it for a breath. Get that hamstring. Come back to forward. Oh, drop your knee down. Oh, bring your arms out and up. And this time, drop your left hand down and your right arm up and look up. So it, it creates a little balance posture there. Three more breaths. One more. Really bend your knee. Do a little back bend. Take another breath. Great. Hands on either side of your foot. Knee back up. Back to plank. And remember, you can keep your knees down if you need to. Push your shoulders together. Three more breaths. One more. Lift to downward dog. Now, the coolest thing about downward dog outside is looking at the world upside down. I'm watching the birds fly upside down. It's pretty cool. Push your shoulders together. Now, turn your right toes inward and bend your right knee. And if you want to make it harder, lift your toes a little off the ground. And then straighten your right, turn your left toes inward, bend your left knee. Lift if you want. Straighten your legs, bend both knees, push your hips back. Look at your thumbs and next exhale, bring your left foot forward. Heart forward, breathe in. Push your back heel away. Look down, make sure your hands are on either side of that foot. Exhale, straighten. Either with your knee down or straight. Inhale, forward. Exhale, straighten, hold it for a breath. <sighs> back to forward in your high lunge. Drop your knee down. Bring your arms out. Reach for the sky. Now, do a little back bend. So you're really bending that front knee. And then drop your right hand down, left arm up. Look up at your palms. Take another breath. Those are great. Come back to forward. Lift your knee back up. Come back to plank. Take three breaths. No, you weren't expecting that. Then drop down onto your knees. And widen your knees. And we're going to go all the way down into child's pose, what you've all been waiting for. Uh -huh. And drop down. Move the ants away, the sand away. Tuck your tailbone a little bit so you really feel that lovely stretch in your lower back. Good. Take another breath. And then push your left forearm down as you reach with your right fingertips, lifting your palm. And pull that those hips back to stretch out your right shoulder. And then switch. Right forearm down, reach with your left fingertips. Stretch out that shoulder. Uh, take another breath. Come back to all fours. And just, oh, we did I say back to all fours. We actually haven't been here yet. <laughs> Move your hands underneath your shoulders and just do a cat cow. So nice and gentle. It's like your spine is breathing. Breathe in and inhale, lift your tailbone, your shoulders together. And then exhale, angry cat, round and tuck. 
wide, as wide as your mat. Come up on your fingertips with your palms lifted and then just drop your forehead down to stretch those shoulders out. Oh, yeah. Take another breath. And we'll come all the way up and we're going to roll onto our backs. So, I'll face you this way. Bring your feet out in front of you. If you're lucky enough to have sand in front of you, put your feet in the sand. Just feel the earth under your feet. And if you aren't on the beach, then use your imagination. We've all been there, right? Bring your heart up and drop, rock side to side. Just a gentle, just gentle for your lower back. Gentle for your hips. Pushing your shoulder, looking over your right shoulder as you move left. And hold it for a breath. And on the other side. Hold that for a breath. Oh. All right, let's get on to our backs. I think we started there and then I got distracted. All right, hopefully you can see me. If you can't listen to me, I'm just take the hat off. Ooh, so a little thread the needle for your hips and lower back. So both feet are bent. Both knees are bent, sorry. Your feet are on the ground. Take your right foot, so your ankle's on your left thigh. Everybody there, and then lift up both legs. Take your left hand, either on your hamstring or just below your knee, and pull that leg towards you, so your left. And then take your right forearm, and take your, and your elbow and push your right thigh away. So you're pushing your right thigh away if you're doing your left like in and breathe into that stretch in your right hip. Ah. And listen to the birds and the ocean. Birds are very loud lately. I don't know, I think they're following me. And then bring your arms to the side so they're either in the sand or your floor and drop just about four inches or so to your left. You're gonna feel a stretch in that left hip. Your right hip, sorry. Take another breath. So you go into that place where the edge is. And then drop all the way down to the ground so that your right foot's on the ground. And then look over your right shoulder. Take your breath, get that hard on your lower back, just back knee, just like that. Take another breath here. And push your arms up to lift your legs up. Bring your knees together and just do a nice circle in your lower back. One way and then the other. Drop your right foot down, left ankle on your thigh, lift up. Oh, come on, Sam. So take your right hand just below your knee or on your hamstring and pull your right leg in as you push your left leg away with your forearm, your hand, your elbow. And breathe into that left hip. And as you do this, notice how one side feels compared to the other, just for observation. If you flex your top foot, you'll feel it even more. Another breath. Arms out to the side, drop just a tad to your right. You're gonna feel where, if you go too far, you don't feel the stretch. There's a there's a sweet spot. So see if you can find it. Take another breath, and as you exhale, drop your foot all the way down and over your left shoulder. Oh. A couple breaths there. And again, if that's hard on your back, then you just wanna stack your knees. Another breath. Push your arms in, lift your legs up, bring your knees together, and do a figure eight circle on your lower back. I'm gonna be talking, but I'm gonna be looking at the same time. I can't, yes, I'm still here. Okay, roll around. You're good. 
very professional job here on YouTube. <sighs> okay, and bring your, take your hands on your knees and do concentric circles. So you're going toward your knees or going toward one another in one direction or away in the other. And then bring your feet, the bottom of your feet together and take your elbows on the outside, inside of your calves and just rock a little side to side. Uh, and then drop your feet onto the ground, arms out to the side, and keep your feet as wide as the mat as you rock side to side with your knees and look over your opposite shoulder. Nice gentle stretching for your lower back. And then go right into your Shavasana, the corpse pose. So let everything go. I'm just going to sit because I've got all these ants around me. But I'm going to describe what you're experiencing, hopefully. So if your back hurts, you can keep your, knee bent, your knees bent. Or you can keep your feet together. Or you can just extend your legs. And then keep your arms to your sides, or if you want, you can bring your right hand onto your belly and your left at your heart. Whatever you need to do to completely let go. So that is the intention of the Shavasana, is to integrate everything you just did so that you're balanced in your body, left to right, front to back, top to bottom but not just in your body, but you're aligned from your mind to your heart and your heart to your body and your body to your mind. So let each breath be a letting go as we started this morning and each breath in and absorbing and embracing and awakening. I'm sending you this amazing energy of the sun, its warmth, its light, its energy, its vitality, and the gentle breeze that's reminding, and the breeze and, and the tide going in and out, both reminding us to breathe. And yes, the sound of the birds, which are also speaking in another language they're telling us something. And the earth beneath us, the sand into the deepest depths of the earth. That ground and support us. Hold us. Embrace us. Mind us to let go. So start to just maybe wiggle your fingers, your toes, move your wrists, your ankles, however you need to kind of come back in to your body, to your alignment, to your balance. And then bring your knees back to your chest, rock a little side to side. And work your way when you're ready back to seated. <sighs> Tucking your chin, lifting your head, rounding from your tailbone. And feel your spine just like an accordion elongating so that you're creating space between each vertebra. And then arms nice and wide. Reach up for that piece of gratitude for the sky, for the earth, for the water, for the air. May they mirror our beauty back to us as you bring your hands to your heart in prayer. And as you have your hands in prayer, just say a few prayers. This is, in, my, in the tradition I was brought up in, this is uh, the holiday of Passover. 
And what it represents seems very symbolic right now, very metaphoric of releasing the chains that bind us and moving toward freedom and acceptance and equality for all people on this planet. From darkness to light. And I'm going to leave you this morning. Every morning I wake up and I listen to a playlist that I have that has six hours of inspirational songs and I put it on, you know, I just put it on play and see what comes up. Right, on shuffle, sorry, I couldn't find that word. So, uh, this morning I heard David Ramirez, who's one of my favorite songwriters, and I'm reading, I'm reading it because I couldn't remember it all. And his song's called Find the Light. And if you want to find my playlist, it's New Year's, uh, New Year, in, New Year, Colin Caps, Inspiration with an exclamation point. You're welcome to download it or listen to it. So here's what his Find the Light says, or sings, and I will say it. I wish upon you truth when all you feel is doubt. I hope you know an open mind still knows how to shut things out. I wish you, upon you a brave heart that will always rise above. But most of all, I wish upon you love. All of you. Sending love to you all, and thank you for joining me this morning, BethGoldstein.net. And if you'd like to contribute, it's Beth slash Goldstein slash 16 on Venmo. And love to you all. May you stay healthy and safe. Thanks, everybody. Oh, what? Just like beach yoga, my P-Town friends. Love you.